My name is Stuart James Smith. I'm a clinical associate professor in neurosurgery at Nottingham University and an honorary consultant neurosurgeon at uh, Nottingham University Hospitals. My specialist interest is in the treatment of uh, brain tumour patients. We would try and meet patients clearly before the operation, either on the ward if they've been admitted as, a, as an emergency or if it's um, a less urgent situation, we would try and meet them in a, um, a clinic beforehand and explain the scans, show them the scans, talk them through the, the options for, for, for treatment. Usually one of those options for brain tumour patients is surgery of some description. So after a, a normal sleep operation, patients um, generally we try and wake people up as, as quickly as possible um, because one of the key things is for us to be able to assess the patient to make sure everything's working, they're talking, arms and legs are moving and, and that the operation has gone you know, as, well as, as well as we can expect. Most people generally are sort of awake within an hour or two certainly of their, of their operation and obviously have some after effect from the anaesthetic, it would be a, a little bit groggy maybe for that evening but hopefully by the following morning most people would be back to their normal consciousness level. In general we, we often prefer if people do have a family member with them when they come for the, the clinic visits or when we speak to people on the ward before the operation, the more people they're listening the better. So we ideally would always speak to the, the family present with the patient if, if that's what the patient wants. But clearly people are, can be quite tired, quite fatigued, it can take a few days for them to get back on their feet and, 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 and get going. People often, clearly the wound, particularly with the bigger operations, can be sore and we give people painkillers of whatever strength is needed to, to deal with that. Hopefully by a few weeks afterwards, all things being equal, most people would be beginning to recover from the surgery and, and you know, feel that they're, they're sort of on, on the road back to their normal self, if not quite fully there yet.